Bringing light to the darkness of cancer, that's why the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society does their annual Light the Night Walk. Joining me now is a blood cancer survivor and corporate walk chair. We have Steve and his wife, Melissa Brown. They're joining us today. Guys, thanks for being here with us today. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Absolutely. And I'm just putting it out there. It's going to be amazing weather for this year's walk in Forest Park, starting off at Cricket Field on Saturday, October 14th. Steve, tell us a little bit more about it. Sure. Yeah, the walk is a, it's an absolutely great time. We've been doing it for the last five years or so, Melissa and I. And um, it's a family-friendly event, dog-friendly event. Uh, it starts at 5 o'clock. Um, there's a dog show. Purina is a big sponsor this year at 5.30. Um, and the ceremony of the walk begins at 7.30. Awesome. And this is a perfect way to give back to the community because the funds that are raised from this walk truly does go back to research and to patient services. I mean, how are those funds really helping support those fighting, surviving, and thriving with cancer? Well, I could speak personally on that. Um, so I, I was diagnosed with cancer in 2018 and um, spent three years going through chemotherapy. And, and the treatments themselves were, are very difficult. Uh, the very things that were saving my life were also mm -hmm. caused liver failure and caused me to be in the hospital for a good deal of time. And so what they're fighting for is their, their research and development for better treatments, new treatments, more advanced ones that aren't going to take such a toll on your body, a toll on your life, turning your life upside down and trying to make it to where it's, you can actually live while you're battling this disease. Absolutely. And, and it doesn't just affect you as someone fighting the disease. It affects everybody around you. I mean, what was that experience like for you, Melissa? Yeah, it was a lot of extra work. Uh, we have three children at the time. When he was diagnosed, we had a two-year-old, wow. a six-year-old and an eight-year-old. And he spent two months in the hospital. So uh, just, you know, trying to find somebody to watch our kids so I could go up and uh, help them out and just bring them fresh clothes and maybe some food he wants. Just the little things, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And th those funds really do continue to help support everyone, their family, because they are also being impacted as well. You guys also allow those funds to help co-pay, uh, some assistances, patients sometimes need air, getting to and from appointments. Right. Those, that money really does go a long way, especially when it comes to treatment, right? Yeah, when I was in uh, the treatment pods at the hospital, uh, I, was, I was next to people who had flown in from Kentucky or from Minnesota or from Iowa, all over the Midwest. And you, know, you don't think about as, as difficult as it was for us logistically, how hard it was for them to transplant their entire lives just to be at the good hospital care that we have in St. Louis. So it really does take a toll on, on patients and their families. And also it's just one of those things where you're completely in the dark. You don't know necessarily what to do. You don't know maybe even what disease you have. Mm -hmm. And so LLS provides a lot of light to you in, in trying to guide you and navigate through that uncertainty. I love that. Well, we are helping you guys light the night as well because I know it can be tough. And so many people are being impacted by leukemia and lymphoma. And St. Louis, if you want to come on out, show your love, show your support, and truly help light the night. You absolutely can. Give us the details one more time on the event. Sure. For more information, you can go to lightthenight.org. It's October 14th from 5 to 9. Uh, the actual walk starts at 7.30 and registration begins at 5 o'clock. So again, that's lightthenight.org. Perfect. In St. Louis, we're going to make sure that you have access to all of this information on our website, studiostl.tv. You definitely want to be there. They're lighting up the night. There's three different colors as well. We're running out of time. So you'll have to, you have to go and show up to the event because these three different colors represent different things. But we really do want you to get on out. Enjoy the food trucks. See the Remembrance Pavilion. Enjoy the Kid Zone. This is a kid-friendly event. There's going to be a bubble van. There's dancing. It really is a joyous time. And it's the perfect way to light the night. And did we mention there is a laser show? You don't want to miss out on it.